Hey guys and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included! My name is Twitchy and we are playing in the Nova Del Mort! Uh, where? The problems, they keep on coming, they keep on mounting, but that's okay. We keep on getting new bits of research and science and technology that enable us to do all sorts of wonderful things. Now, one thing that I noticed uh, from last time that I didn't notice at the time was when we cleared this little area out. You, you guys see this, right? Look at this. There's a wheeze wart right there. Like that, that's crazy. I, ne I never even knew that it existed. So I'm going to try and start off with cutting through here. Now, there's a few things that I want to do. One of the first things I want to address is the fact that we are running out quite badly of algae. There's also this natural gas generator here, and I want to build a little power generation unit there, literally to power the algae production that's going to happen over here. I think that's a good way around to do it, so I will go with that. But right now, I really want this uh, this wheeze wart dug up, so I'm going to do this. We're going to go nine, uproot that as soon as you can. Now, is there anything else up yeah, yes, there is. Is there anything else around that we really, 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 really want? I should imagine there's a whole lot of stuff. But I'm going to carry on taking this maybe all the way up to the top. It's been some time. Let's, let's do that. Do I need to have uh, some nice decor out here? I don't think I do. I'm just going to make this out of igneous rock and go up like that. That's going to take a little bit of time for people to come along and dig that out. I did that as a nine. That may have been a bad, 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 bad mistake. Uh, but we'll see what happens. I'm also going to come through and mop this water up. Maybe put some tiles down in this little hole here because people keep having to uh, mess around and jump over things and I really need to stop putting down jobs on nine but we're going to keep going with it for now. I'm also giving thought to putting another door here and making this an actual airlock system. That said, no, I've got my actual airlock system here so I think that'll be fine. I was just wondering about this going up here. Now there is lots of algae around. It w really wouldn't take me too much to dig up a little bit more algae but then that's going to leave us with loads of slime. In fact, this storage compactor here, as you can see, already has quite Quite a bit of slime in it so we're gonna have to deal with that the think the way that I'm gonna deal with it if we come in on a job seven what we've we got here granite sounds good gonna select that and go all the way across here I, th I think that's a good way of doing this I think that's a good way I'm gonna uh, bring you guys back when we've got a little bit further down I really want to put this in fact no I I'll tell you what we're gonna do we're gonna come over here uh, ooh, it's getting a bit tight down here. It's getting a little bit tight in here. But if I uh, destroy these buildings here, I think we can go up over the top and down in case we are needed over here. I don't think we're ever going to be needing to go over this way. Hey, Conan Moti, how's it going, man? I Mo Moti? Moti? I don't know. Uh, is it a big or a small O there? I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, down in my furniture, we should be able to have ourselves a flower pot. What is this ice block? Decre whoa, 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 I want to read that. Decreases decor. Oh, increases decor. Sorry, reduces stress. Must be sculpted by Duke so it's an art thing. That's fine. Ice sculptures will melt over time if not kept sufficiently chilled. That's fine, but it takes a while to slowly heat it. Let's have a look here. Specific heat capacity down at the bottom. 2.5 joules to raise one, kilo one gram by... That's, yeah, one gram by one Kelvin, which I believe is better than... 2.5 joules for one gram. Let's um, also then come to the, the... Where is it? Where are you? Here. Polluted water. Let's have a look. What's your thermal... Uh, specific... No, six. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I, I thought the ice was better than the polluted water for a little while there. I was like, oh, well, we should use that instead. But no, no, I was uh, talking out of my behind. All right, let's put this... Is that granite? That is granite. So let's pop that there. That should help. Because the, the thing I'm noticing here, and you might guys, you guys might notice, you see how we've got lots of movement in the gas up here, but just doesn't seem to want to go anywhere when we get down here. Now, this is because the weeds warts, they, they suck in gas and then they expel it out the top uh, whilst doing a little bit of chill. So that should be what we... Th this is undiggable. Okay. All right. Fine. I see what's happened here. I see what's happened. Let's dig there and there. Uh, where are we going to go from? There, 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 and there. That, that should work, right? Nice stairway down and then we go straight across. Going up and over, little bit of a waste, but I think we can uh, live with that. Who's going to come out and become hypothermic for us? Scargill, uh, Sar Sarkill, even, I suppose will be it. Like Scargill, what a great name. That's like a, a fish bad guy, right? I'm Scargill, yes. Uh, yeah, cool. We've also got this neural vacuolizer over here. Now, I believe it was Tarkin that we, we did up last time. I would like to get someone else in this time. Uh, maybe maybe Admiral Hux, uh, <laughs> Admiral Hux. Yeah, let's call him Admiral Hux, why not? So another thing that we've got to bear in mind whilst we're moving forward here, fossil fuels. I am slowly making this natural gas generator here. And I suppose 
spend some time in a test world thinking about how I'm going to have everything laid out. Now, I'm going to actually start placing things down around here. We're going to get our ventilation. We need a gas pump in here. Now, this gas pump can power more than one natural gas generator. That is the important thing to remember here. And in my testing, I found it can support anything up to six but with the amount of gas that comes out of this geyser, it's not worth doing more than three. So that, that's what I'm going to aim for here. We're going to build a nice little area here. We're going to put a manual airlock in, just like that. Okay, that, that's now our pumping area. That, that should work pretty well for us. We'll take a little bit of gas out, and then we'll put a little bit of power in. Now, the power, I'm going to go straight up, because I want to put a few more things up here before we actually go ahead and do that. What was that? That was our research complete. All right, research complete. Uh, that means if I come in here to the power we get the natural gas generator this is going to get put down here yeah just like that just like that and it needs to have a couple of mesh tiles underneath now i don't know if you can see this little nozzle here that spits out polluted water uh, every time it makes a little bit of power a little bit of polluted water falls down so i'm just going to kind of copy out this system going up like this it should work it should work amazingly well for us now i can't remember what it was that i specifically stored up the top here i might even have to go back to the test world and show you i might even show you guys the test world i, I know some people are quite interested interested in seeing test worlds and I'm always happy to oblige in that particular request that's not how you cancel this is how you cancel nice uh, airlock there we go pop that this side down here little bit of uh, climbing space here so we can we can make everything that that's the important thing here uh, in the test world I just kind of um, stack them up as high as they would go but obviously I could just place things without actually needing my duplicates to uh, to go and build them so that that's how that worked out wasn't really the best Hello? What have we got here? Hello? Hello? What have we got? Sleep wheat. We've got some sleep wheat under there. That's that's cray. That is cray. Uh, I'm going to put a six dig order across there, and hopefully people can start coming along and doing stuff. Now, under here, and in fact, we're going to have to dig out under here as well. We're going to need an area to store some polluted water. Now, I'm not sure what we're going to do with the polluted water. Maybe we could feed it to... Um, maybe we could feed it to some plants, or maybe we'll just turn it through a system now that i stop and think about it we're also going to need a carbon scrubber because these things release carbon dioxide as well let's uh, let's actually put a gas vent hey gas vent there uh, i'm then going to put a, a liquid pump here and in next to it a carbon skimmer there okay so that should be a nice sort of recycling system here and maybe even we could put if i find it uh the uh, water sieve over this side but i'm not sure about that we'll, we will we will come to that uh i want to put a couple of doors in or even just a door it's just to uh provide a enclosed space an enclosed space that's that's better english right there uh like this and up like that i think that should work pretty well for us have people come and got this wheeze walk yet no not yet but motty is literally the guy doing the work okay maybe we want to put put a little uh, floor across that way so people can come across better. Uh, that, I mean, that would be great, right? That would be great. I think another thing I want to dig out is when they get round to it. There's six like that. Not so much bothered about this stuff. Not so much bothered about this stuff. Well, I've talked like solidly for 10 minutes here and I've got put down a whole load of plans. I think I'm just going to let these guys do a little bit of work so I don't end up just talking my way through the entire episode and not actually doing anything. If you prefer an episode where I just talk solidly for 20 minutes and only get one thing done let me know in the in the in the comments but uh, I, I think it's better when we make these little jumps oh go 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 krennic you are nearly all your way through you gotta dig this one out as well this weasel one of the big things i am after right now this is going to solve a whole host of issues the main problem that i have in my base right now and it is really one of the big problems uh if we just leave him to do that turn that over that would be great is that all this water that i'm post po pumping through but not posting through could you imagine posting water oh that'd be horrific uh, th it's over 30 degrees that means all the way through is it f6 yeah everywhere that these flow we're p pumping in a little bit more heat into my base which uh, sounds sounds as bad as it actually is it's pretty horrific i'm gonna be honest with you here we, w we need to try and make this a workable thing why aren't they actually building this here nine make it happen guys make it happen because i think over here somewhere we should now actually have have the wheeze wart taken down that's pretty cool that is pretty cool but i really 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 want this flower pot to get done what are we building out of i don't i don't know i don't know i made it a thing granite we, yeah we're making it out of granite the granite is warm 
Man, that granite is warm. But hopefully when this gets done, all right, cool. Wall, weasel wall, plant it, super high priority. Super, super high priority. So I'm gonna go over and I'll watch this. Someone should be coming along. Hey, they're just digging up further. That's cool, that's cool. I'm not sure if we need another weasel wall down, down yonder in the in the hot area. Uh, maybe we do, oh look, it's the edge of the map, neutronium. I knew we were close because I couldn't quite zoom in properly on this, uh, this natural gas geyser over here wasn't quite working for me that must mean this is a tiny swamp biome over here which is cool which is a cool you guys having a bad time up there tug good old casio one of my workhorses one of my well i mean he's not a horse he's a duplicate but you, you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying Oh, come on, Tarkin. Tell me that this path here that you've got is for the Weasel. That that would be so good. Unequipped clothing? No. No. What? Why would that be a thing? Why would you even want that to happen? Okay, let's let's watch them go. Uh, we can speed up time here a little bit. Yeah, that, that's great. Uh, there's always, like, little jobs that I really enjoy watching my duplicates do. Moving stuff around that I've been waiting for for a long time. Wow, Tarkin, you are slow. You wanna you wanna work on your pacing there? How do we, how do we make Tarkin faster? I suppose we set them up with the... Uh, with the running uh, running jobs a little bit more maybe just make them a, uh, a delivery person that, that would be cool all right so almost immediately things are flowing better yes in fact look look over here we can see this now dropping down a lot more there's more coming in from the side here let's slow back down a little bit shall we uh, there is definitely movement aguan uh, i'm wondering whether we could actually fit another one in here and that would be safe but then how would people get down uh i don't know i don't know the main thing that i want to keep an eye on though is this tile here i don't, I don't know why that tile there maybe this tile over here would do but the, the it's 30 degrees. We're going to come back in a little while and see what temperature these tiles are because obviously they are made out of obsidian, which means they pass the heat around really quickly. And we've got hot stuff here, but cold stuff here. So this should have the medium heat, you know, and we'll find that will give us an idea of what temperature the water is getting pumped out at. Hopefully, maybe. Ah, Wolframite. There we go. We've got so I think I've already actually got some. Let's have a look. Yeah, Wolframite. I must have just dug through it by accident. Does that mean there's some... Yeah, okay. Digging down the uh, the ladder is the way that we got more Wolframite. That's granite. Oh, hello, what's this? Oh, it's the security door. I suppose, suppose that's fine. I suppose that's fine. We seem to be finding stuff just hidden behind ice a lot that's that's a little bit crazy a little bit crazy nothing's happened here yet nothing's happened here let's let's have a look why i think i see why let's put these on a seven and see what happens uh let's drag it like that uh, i'm also considering this door placement here i don't like it and the reason that i don't like it is due to the way gases sink so we got natural gas and carbon dioxide being made by this particular system here uh, and the problem with both those gases they sink so if i have a door at the bottom they're the, they're going to kind of rush out and sink down but if I a door at the top that might work out better so i'm going to cancel these builds here put down a random door about there do we want to go one up one down maybe there there let's just do that like that and then tile our way all the way across we want a seven that would be better thank you just like that okay and already we're starting to get a little bit of structure over here maybe we'll make this area the battery room because we're going to need somewhere to store all this power and then somewhere to have a whole bank of power transformers to take the power out of that system but uh it should work it's basically going to be the same idea as down here you see we've got one major making air what why are you here no wait 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 wait, wait, wait. manual is that the manual generator even down on a four priority that is rubbish but okay we'll, we'll, we'll live with that we'll live with that but yeah you can see how these guys are making pumping into these batteries and then you use the power trans Formers. I was going to say transistors there, and I was like, nope, that's not the right word, to take off other power systems elsewhere that use a little bit less actual oomph. Awkwardly, the uh, heat appears to be climbing over here. That's um, it's not the situation I was imagining, if I'm to be honest with you. That is not the situation I was imagining. So if we put this down here, we actually need to destroy that one as well. Hopefully someone will come along and do all this. This is just coal over this side. That's, that's cool. That's cool. We've got some iron ore. Oh, excuse me. I've got some iron ore and all sorts of things going on over here. I kind of feel like I would like to con uh, contain this area over here. That's, that's the word I was looking for. Maybe get some insulated tiles all the way around this system. I kind of like having this massive bulk of water here. Um, 
I don't know if it is great though. I'm just looking at the temperature distributions. I'm, I'm wondering whether this much water is just going to be really hard to cool down at any point or not. Uh, but with that all cleared out, let's get a mesh tile up and on the go. What do we want to make it out? Iron or uh, wolframite? Highly thermally conductive. Let's let's try that. Let's try it. Let's make it out of wolframite and see what happens. Can these guys jump there and down there? I don't think they can. I think I've probably just isolated this area off. But as I don't think anything's going to break back here, let's have a liquid pump overheats at 75 is this hmm not sure how i feel about that it looks like maybe we're gonna have a little bit of problems what's going on up here that's only a 65 why is this hotter down here than it is up by the actual geyser what's going on there i don't know uh, i'm actually unsure yeah, the temperature of the water is definitely climbing. It's only going up by 0.1 or 0.2 a time, but that's that's still going up. That's that's not what I want. How are we doing for getting through to this weasel over here? It's taking a little time. I wonder if there's any more like hidden away, like the uh, like the sleepweed down here. But there, bet there are. I bet there are weasels just hidden everywhere, and we just don't know how to get them. Just don't know. I, Mm. Yeah, I'll keep looking. I'll keep looking. But these, these guys, come on, come on. The uh, P. Yeah, we're already at priority nine, so we just gotta wait. Just gotta wait. It keeps giving me insufficient oxygen warnings, but uh, I gotta say my base is looking pretty good. Got a little bit of problem with the uh, the carbon down here, but that that's all stuff that we can all work around. Speaking of, I think it's probably time that we start digging our way into this area. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is tell it to dig up the sand because oh my, sand falling on your head is not the winner there. Uh, so something like that, and then at a slightly lower pace, we're gonna come along and get all this algae out. In fact, I think we're probably gonna end up digging a whole load of this out, like like that and then maybe these down here as well let's get that dirt we'll leave the oxalite for now because you never know when oxalite is useful you know uh like that and that uh, we will get all this out in a due course like this and then all these across here and hopefully we can build ourselves a small little farm patch here uh, i've been trying to play around with the thimble reeds and it's not really been working well for me i've got to clear all this water out here it used to be that you have to keep them submerged in water but that has all changed so we're gonna have to just wait and see what's going on oh look at this you guys see this going on? Let's follow Let's follow good old Piet here. Uh, Admiral Piet, of course, uh, is coming along to put our fourth Weezwar in place. Let's have a look at what this tile is saying here. It's uh, 31.5. So it's kind of stabilised at one degree higher than we were looking at earlier. It's a, a bit strange, a bit strange, but I think it's going to work for us. Now, is this going to increase the pressure up here too much? Hopefully, this is now pushing thuswards. I'm hoping through this little gap up here that that would be great. I do see it, however, sucking down like this. So I'm not sure if that is ideal. I mean, eh, we're down to like 20 degrees there, so maybe turning it around like that is the way. Maybe, maybe. I don't know whether these ladders are going to cause us issues or not. I shouldn't imagine so, but it's uh, things to bear in mind. Okay, new day, new objective, or maybe even a little bit of a pause at the beginning of the day there. Uh, I would like to go all the way up. I've never I've never reached the top of the asteroid, and I think now is the time to do so. If I just, like, dig that up like that, I have no idea how far away the top is. I've literally never been there before, so I think that's something that I would like to get going. Also, this dig here, it's not really being uh, prioritised the way it should do. I want I want to get Hux a new... new um, new property new new thing something he can lord it over the other imperial officers with i think that'd be a good idea i've also gone along and tweaked a few of these priorities here i really want to get this pump built uh, i think that's a good way to get going and maybe actually should we do something i'm gonna do i want to save it do i want to save it i'm gonna save it okay and we're gonna go back to my test world so we can go and see about how i set something up so welcome to my test pit where duplicate lives are cheap and we don't really care about their comfort but over here you can see I put down a uh, natural gas generator and started playing around with different ideas here. Uh, so when I had all of the natural gas generators working up here, this is how I was figuring out how many I could actually run uh, I needed to have two carbon skimmers down but now that we've only got these ones I really only need the one. Now what's happening to all my uh, my fake water here, my polluted water, it's coming down and getting dealt with over there. Okay that that's fine that that's awesome uh, and up here i put a power transformer and a battery to power all this lot okay cool 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 that was what i wanted to see uh, so yeah this is 
So this is kind of like the idealized setup. If you get rid of that and then take away this one carbon skimmer, you can see that I've basically set this up uh, in the other world. Uh, other things going on here, nothing much. We've got some uh, wheeze warts and some uh, recycling on the go. This battery could probably, uh, probably disappear, but I needed this just to start everything up. All right, well, there we go. That was what I wanted to uh, have a look at, was this little section down here and this section up there. Seemed to be working quite well. As you can see, like, this had nearly, nearly run out of gas, but at the time that it's about to run out, you can see this rising pressure here. Maybe leaving and coming back a set. No, no, there we go. And just as we're about to hit zero, boom, much, much more natural gas. And if we have a look in here, it all starts to flow out and tops all these guys up. And then it's like backs up into the system and all sorts of good things happen there it's a good solid automated system that i like and it doesn't need any automation either it's just one of these ones where the bottleneck is the thing that that restricts it so yeah this is this is looking pretty good here and with that all in mind, I'm going to start putting down a few things here. Uh, mostly importantly, I want to try and get this heavy watt plate, uh, heavy watt connective plate put down. Now, that's a little bit of a tongue twister when you're just coming at it there. Uh, there we go. Just like that, that should be good. We're going to also get a whole load of heavy watt wire. Now, this one's going to come through and up there, but I'm also going to go up and join all those together. So that should make a, a beautiful system right there. Uh, I want a power transformer. That is definitely the next one. It comes in about there yeah that works for me and a little bit of heavy watt wire just to make sure they join up um oh i could build it one further back but i've got a feeling that would cover it up should we try should we try yeah let's try i'm gonna cancel uh, yeah these power wires here and then i would like to come out of this overlay so i can cancel that build all right cool it works pretty well uh let's try and compact it down can i i can do that awesome actually that is really cool and uh, then we'll pull that down there and that's already powered that now there's a little problem Problem with that there is a little problem with that is the fact that I want to put a battery in the way or in between just so we've got a little bit of um a little bit of backup for when things take a bit of a lull uh, in the low gas state like we were looking at earlier. Uh, you then want to come down and around here and power these two machines. And I'm not sure where we're going to take our polluted water right now. It's it's going to go somewhere, but I'm just not sure. It's like we need clean water to scrub the carbon uh, the carbon skimmer as well. So yeah, maybe we will have. Let's, let's do it. We're going to have a refinement water sieve. Uh, <clears throat> now, do I want people coming running through the cold biome like this all the time is is that what i really want i think it is i think it is it, i mean it's not really it's not ideal let's be honest here but i think we can work with that so this is a dirty out and this is a dirty out and hopefully we can just do it like that maybe that that would be pretty cool if that was the way we could do this and then we would power it via this power system here Okay, does that, does that look all good? This kind of looks like a working system here. Uh, the next thing I would do would probably be to cancel this build, get ourselves another joining plate. Uh, there we go, joint plate there. Pop that down like that. Do you, what? Harumph. Harumph. You know what we can do, though? You know what we can do? This is going to be like total hacks. Load game. He must have got in there without me noticing. He must have got in, in there without me noticing. That, that's cool, though. That's cool. Uh, Wow, reload. First one of the series. First one of the series. That's pretty cool, actually. Pretty cool. It's got to happen every now and then. You, you, you realise you made a mistake and want to go back and change it a little bit, right? That's, that's life. That's the way these management games work. Man, this is a loading screen, though. Before I press play, let's go up here and have a look. Okay, so at the moment, he doesn't look like he's dead yet. Is this Hux? No, that's not Hux. Where, where is Hux? Where's he going to come from? Uh, so if they're all doing that stuff, I'm, I'm just going to keep an eye up there um, in this sort of wide open position here. We'll do that. I'll uh, cancel some power wires here. Is everything looking okay? Everything's still looking okay. I want to know where he comes from. That's That's the question. Where does he come from? Where does he go? All right, put this one over here. A little bit of power. Let's let's get this all running again the way that we want it to. That'll be down like that across. Is that is that Hux there? Is he going right now? Uh, let's have a look. No, you're not Hux. You're Krennic. Okay, you are Krennic. Is is this Hux? No, that's Motti as well. Okay, that somehow yeah. Here we go. This is this is where it happens now. This is where it happens. And he could die any moment. So we gotta gotta be a little bit aware of this. I'm gonna just pause this and do this quick. It's always nice to do it via pause. Okay, brilliant, brilliant. Let's cancel that build and also cancel this build. All right, come on, Hux. Let's let's do this now. Let's do this. You come along and you jump in there. Uh, can I? It's in process, that's good. Are we just gonna leave him? 
Can we do anything about it? Can I can I stop it? That's a question. Can we stop it? Is he going to die in the complete? There we go. Complete the neural process. Now go go somewhere else. Ooh, what did he get? What did he get? Uh, brain is still vibrating, but they've never felt better. He's got a sunny disposition. His stress just drops constantly. Now, you're not really the man that was struggling with stress. No, you're in at 1% anyway. So may have not been the best way of doing that, but it was pretty good. The problem is that it's random every time, so you can never, never tell what it's going to give you. Heavy what uh, joining like that, and then we'll have a little battery zone there. That'll be cool. Does everything look interconnected right now? It does right now that goes through like that let's put this water sieve back down that we had just done bam okay cool cool uh so i'll bring you back when uh when i'm not just doing the same thing that i've just done before that death Hmm, I see a small um, ventilation wiring issue. Is it, is it wiring issue? I don't know. A ventilation issue here. We're going to have to try and run a lot of these wires past each other. They're not wires, they're ventilation pipes. Um, I think we want to go that way round and then go gas pipes. You go out there and then up and down. Does that work? Okay, cool. Then we can come across like this and hopefully that should do everything like that okay that that's pretty cool that is pretty cool right there okay what what's going on guys why aren't you here yet okay i've just changed the priority of this ladder here it was on a seven that was interrupting the whole build process over here i've also noticed that this abyssalite properly in my guy's face so let's uh, dig that out and see if we can make that work vending machine can we inspect uh, ba -ba -ba, to all from admin uh, for health and safety of your fellow facility employees please do not store unlabeled bacterial cultures in the cafeteria fridge simply be advised that the cafeteria dishwasher is incapable of handling petri dishes despite this no uh, nomenclature okay cool the, can, can we not do petri dishes I, I don't know that, that should have been called petri dishes however you want to say it uh, this table can we rummage through this table can is, is that got some stuff in it for us it doesn't look like it does um, uh, who's gonna rummage this is the question who is gonna rubbish uh, um, a pristine nutrient bar dispenser. Oh, that would be nice. Nutrient bars are pretty good. You know what? I'm going to even cancel that rummage until we are in a trouble. Because I, I just don't think we need it. Wow, this abyss light. Take some time to dig through. Take some time. Hmm, I suppose with all these in place, we can actually go ahead and destroy all these ladders. That's probably slowing them down a little bit, right? Uh, maybe even dig this bit of granite up here. Let's do that as super high priority, because people are going to come along and treat this as a high priority job anyway. For some reason, the destruction of equipment is a high priority than anything else. Even if you've not put a high priority on it, it's, it's still the highest priority job out there. It's ridiculous, and I have no idea how it works. It must be just like the first thing on an if loop or or something like that in fact i mean who even uses if statements anymore it's all case switch and stuff right oh look we've got a snazzy suit laying on the floor that's not been used uh, i'm gonna give this to hux he's the man right he's the man gotta be gotta be uh everything's going on quite well we've got things being built here but man these guys are just taking their time i don't i don't think i'm gonna be able to get to anything else this episode other than building this a massive power plant i think with that in mind actually what i'm gonna do is start thinking about how we're gonna lay out the batteries now obviously i could just be like ba -da -ba -da -da, all right but i don't i don't think that would actually help anybody that's not how you cancel builds like that no, thank you right cool no no give it, give it here buildings thanks uh let's just say all because that's a lot easier so i think what i want to do instead yeah the reason i don't want to pop them all down like that is because the heat the heat would just get ridiculous and now i know we're in a cold biome uh and so it's probably gonna have a way of sorting that out oh can we can we get that door in place please that's, that's rather quite important it turns out very no the door nine highest priority there highest priority it really needs to get done oh, look at all this water just coming out of nowhere i don't even know where the water's come from just just suddenly there just suddenly there okay someone is going to finish that airlock that's good that is a good people going to come around and finish all the other things let's uh, get a g9 on the go here dig that out uh, and then hopefully everything else should work do i want to like mop this up people have been infected by stuff that's that's disgusting why would you do that let's let's try that that was both a five and a nine i don't know which one it actually stuck with there uh, and everybody's up bye sleep times Hmm, I seem to be collecting a fair amount of hydrogen at the top here. I'm tempted to just pop a, uh... Where's it even coming from? It must be coming from out there. Pop an airflow tile there so that all the hydrogen can drop, uh, drift up into this this little area here where it self self filters. I think that'd be a good idea. Also, we appear to be having a little bit of trouble with the power here. Now, I'm almost certain that's because I've got like a load of uh, priority nine jobs over here. Where is that water even coming from anymore? Is this stuff all just like melted around? I mean, that that is kind of probably the way it works. Probably. Uh, is everything else? 
kind of done now? I think so. I am gonna have a problem getting over there. Uh, let's let's kind of head that off at the pass by doing it like that. That should hopefully be done beforehand. Of course, not because they're gonna make these. Hmm. They're gonna like have to dig these before they can even get back there. And if they dig them, that means that they're gonna have. Uh have built it already so what do we do about that in instead i can't put that there i might have to just kind of do this and hope for the best i hoping for the best is always the best way to do this right like that and maybe bring this this ladder down here i don't know whether that's going to be a thing i can do but hopefully it is a thing that i can do I just realized a little bit of a bottleneck well it's not even a bottleneck a bit of a problem Oh, look, we may have got lucky and they've gone over the top and done it this way instead. I mean, that would be pretty useful. I've put these ones down as a nine, everything from that corner to that corner, just to try, hopefully get this done. Uh, these are eights, so they should get built. But, um, night time. <sighs> night time. So a small problem just arose, so much so that I paused it here. Uh, obviously we were working on this top bit here because I thought that would be a higher priority job, but then this bit didn't get built in time. So we're now leaking natural gas all into our cold biome here, and I'm a little bit worried about that. So what I've done is I've dropped all these jobs to eight and then put these ones on a nine. So that should mean that everything gets done nice and quick, fingers crossed, hopefully. I noticed that they're actually uh, prioritizing the jobs that are not the tiles. Not the best, if I'm to be honest. They're saying they're unreachable builds, but hopefully some... Well, there we go. We have sealed it all back in. That's good. Uh, I've also put this little ladder going down and over the top here, or up and over the top there, whichever way you want to orientate yourself. I suppose it's all good for me, uh, is to get these guys down and make this accessible. That's the main thing, is that this is actually accessible. Okay, we have a problem here. Just went ting, someone's suffocating. We'll have Tarkin. Why you, Scargill's also got a bit of a problem there. Um, let's see if we can uh, quickly slam in a couple of ladders to help out. That that should hopefully help. What have we got here? Snow, ice. We got any materials here that people can build with? Not really, it's all ice. Um, hopefully these guys are gonna get out of here. Okay, he says he's okay. Ooh, had a little bit of a little bit of a panic there. Why are you guys coming down here? This is all carbon dioxide. I specifically set this up to be carbon dioxide. Why are you doing that? Go away. Go away. I've got a feeling one of the things I'm going to do with the excess water that we produce here is make a little electrolyzer set up so that we can actually have some oxygen floating around outside the base just, just to have somewhere breathable. Perhaps even make a little panic room somewhere so when they're running out of oxygen they can just like dive in there. That, that might be an idea actually. That might be an idea. Maybe set it up over here and it'll make nice chilled oxygen then. Look, what's this? Where'd you come from? There's a weaselwort seed there. Uh, I, I want you to go into the, the container as quick as possible. Wow, how long has that been sat there? I have no idea, but, but good work, Sargil. Go go and get rid of it. Uh, so what's going on over here? People people doing jobs? People getting the, the work done? I mean, they will be, eventually. Hmm, I realise I have a little bit of a problem here. It's only just struck me. So if we do that and also uh, buildings, you can see that this water is going to fall down into this space eventually. Uh, and that's good. That's what I wanted to do. But I'm going to put a... Uh a block rather than a door there because um, every time they open the door the water will flow out and, and that's not what we want that is not what we want at all in fact we want this to be a nice contained unit um, I mean honestly people shouldn't be coming in here that much but you got you got to make allowances got to make allowances hypothermia I've got to say got to say I mean you know I've got to say a lot in this these things my uh, my med beds definitely putting in the work since we've been making people work in here this is one of the reasons I wanted to get the uh, thimble thumb farm set up, Thimble Reed farm set up, but I just keep getting distracted by stuff and maybe one day I'll figure out how Thimble Reeds work as well. Well, that extra weaselwort definitely helped out here. You can see a oh, five degree hydrogen up there. That's pretty good. But we've got swirling around about 20 degrees. It gets down to about 22 by the time you're down here. Uh, and that leads to us about, give us about 20 degree water. That's that's pretty cool. I am totally down with that. We've got water being pulled out of here. Let's have a look. Where's it all going? More important. Ooh, this is taking a little bit of time to come out here. So I noticed that my, uh, my chef, he didn't want to come along and make any uh, coal deliveries. All he wanted to do was use the a manual generator there and I wasn't so into that so I uh, gave him the delivery capability and now he goes around and does that the bit I'm worried about is that he might end up start he might end up moving like all these dirts and things and whilst yeah that would be great at low priorities I don't want that to be his main job his main job is of course a uh, cooking over here we're starting to get the sort of situation we need here uh, but this this the abyssalite the abyssalite is just taking far far too long to get going through um, 
done. That's why it's been many days. Look, look at that cycle. Already so many days. People are dying of hypothermia. Well, not dying. People are suffering from hypothermia quite a bit, but I think we can live with that. Also up here, I kind of made this area a little bit nicer. You can see we've got some polluted oxygen wanting to uh, come and drop through here. And then these two... Uh, deodorizers make some a nice oxygen for us to breathe here so uh, everybody should be going a little bit better with that it'd be nice if we could have some algae terraria down there as well but we gotta wait for the algae of course oh i've just noticed sarkil starting to really get a little bit of stress on the go here where's our chill out area here yeah so you should you should really be down there there's nothing on a priority nine so i don't know why he's not going to do that uh maybe something to do with like this weird building priority thing that i keep trying to point out is he is he on his way to chill now? No, that's that wasn't you. I, I don't know. I don't know. We're, we're just going to leave him for now. I, I mean, who knows what he's going to do? In fact, actually, what is he going to do? Uh, let's go through until we get back to Sarkil. Uh, what's his stress response? Can we can we see this here anywhere? Is it in his stats? Um, let's have a look. He's a vomiter. We can live with that. We can definitely live with that. It might take a little bit of cleaning up, but that's fine. So I'm having a quick look here, and it looks like we're at the point where we can do the one temporary structure we need to do here. That's that's not power. I saw the P word and just went with it. Uh, I want to put one of these on a priority nine right here, and I also want to get a bunch of wire on a priority nine across here. We literally just want to fill this batch. Or not even fill this batch. I want to give it just a little bit of an oomph, because then the um, cycling system that happens will just keep this all ticking over. A little bit worried about what's going to happen with the uh, water as i've pointed out before but we'll find out we'll find out it's going to fill up and then we're going to have to do something about it probably take it off as i say to be used for oxygen generation because i think i think that's a good idea a good good way of using stuff i'm definitely not going to build it in the abyssalite though because man that that that's what took so long here was digging through all the abyssalite uh insufficient oxygen high stress nothing really to worry about over there for now uh if people could just come along build this little bit here let's, let's do that let's see what happens if i do that they, they should just hopefully get all done in a flurry of activity when people turn up fingers crossed fingers crossed and now i'm not too bothered about like the excess power that's going to be generated here or like any wastage i throw it within inverted commas because of course this natural gas geyser is just going to continue producing so it wastage isn't really a thing it's just how efficient you can be with it right Oh, it happened whilst I was looking around my base. Someone's obviously come down and worked a little bit on the generator, put a little bit of power in there, and now things are trickling around in a circle. Uh, I'm going to leave that there for now, but I'm going to put it down on the priority wrong one because we do not need that being constantly used. Now, let's have a look at this uh, self-cycling system. It's here somewhere. Yeah, we're definitely filling up with water and... Um, polluted water so we're gonna have to think about what we do with this now it's fairly easy just to let's have a look power electrolyzer make a couple of spaces here like so maybe even one more Let, let's have a look at what we've got on our system over here yeah we've got two clear spaces above so i'm gonna gonna go with that let's put a bunch of tiles across here yeah that that seems like a good idea cancel this one for now get ourselves a new one one two spaces there that's good put down a door just like that with a little tile over there put these like this of course we need the gas vent gas pump over this side hmm am i actually going to yeah i think i am i think i am i'm wondering what to do with the hydrogen here and i think i might just pump it back into or at least the power pump back into the system like if we deconstruct that one a uh, high priority there and replace it with a hydrogen generator i think that will work out a-okay for us we can also even put this in here tiles like this uh g7 to make sure this all digs out okay let's see what happens here not really going to work as well as I want, is it? Not not like that. So if we put that across there and this across here and then dig out all this lot in the middle, maybe, 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 maybe. Like, like that. That's what I want. That is what I want. We need to deal with the excess water. Ah, oh, what an idiot. I've put nowhere for the... Uh for the oxygen to actually go. I uh, see a problem. It's not a big problem, one that we can definitely overcome relatively easily. That's the liquid bridge there. Uh, we want to spin this around. Is that it? That way around. Uh, that way around. That's what I want there. Liquid pipe comes like that, and then this one goes round and down and in there. That should work that one out a okay. Uh, automation, we will of course need ourselves an atmospheric sensor for up there. And we are almost out of 
loose material. Yeah, there we go. That's that's all the uh, the refined iron we had. Don't don't dig yourself into a hole there, man. Do not dig yourself into a hole. Carbon skimmer, definitely the thing on the the bottleneck there. Definitely on the bottleneck. What did I just come over here for? I was like, hmm, let's go over that way and do something. I can't. Ah, is of course the refined metals. Uh, iron. I'll take three of those. Thanks. Well, two. Fine. Whatever. Two will do. Two will do. Are people going to make sure this all gets done for us? Looks like it. Of course, another thing we need is power and... Where are you? Hydrogen generator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pop that there and let's get a vent tunnel on the go. A vent tunnel. Yeah, that's what they are. The tunnels, right? Uh, like so. Something like that. P8. Everything be priority 8 for me, please. So we got ourselves an entire full med bay here. That, that's not the greatest, it's got to be said, not the greatest. Also, the outhouse is out of order. Thankfully, toilet just down here, but again, not the greatest. So I've tried to do a few things to sort that out. The first thing I did was hire the priority of that. Look at that. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Over here, still waiting. Still waiting. It takes a while to dig over that way, it turns out. Hello, we've got a morb in here. I don't want a morb in here. That, that's going to lead to troubles. Lots of polluted oxygen and stuff that we just don't need. Uh, okay, that's a lot better. A lot, lot better. But um, what's going on with the building? Still waiting. I finally have the oxygen system in place, and I've got a little bit of a problem here. Obviously, all the water that I'm pumping in is coming in at about a temperature of, let, let's find it here, polluted water, minus 16, which means when it's made into normal water, that's below its freezing point, and I keep breaking the pipe so i think i need to get a space heater here in a some manner maybe down here somehow uh but all in all i think we're working quite well here we've got the gas coming out of the uh, natural gas geyser here goes into a generator the generator then pumps out its mess down the bottom here these all get cleaned up and passed on to various other systems to go around and fix stuff and in fact if we have a look uh at this one you can see that we've got some very cold water coming down being turned into oxygen in fact what's it at 31 degrees Grease? What? What? Hey? What temperature is this at? What temperature is this at? Even this is like minus 13. I don't know why the water is coming out of that 30 degrees, but I'm going to go with it there. And with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. I will see you next time when we're going to make use of all this power that we're making here. Finally going to get rid of... Uh, finally going to get this thimble reed farm working. Who, who just... Who just peed everywhere? Why would you pee everywhere? Well, it's going down into the Alcatarium, so I suppose that's a okay. Next thing I'd like to do is get ourselves an artist in so we can go around and make the place feel a little better and get the thimble reed working so that we can, like, not have everyone freezing when they go to work in the cold biome because that's that's the main problem I've got right now is my... Oh, just as I want to explain it, this not actually happened. Nobody's got hypothermia right now, but most of the time, they're, this... Uh, med bay is full of people with hypothermia because they're all coming in and fixing all of this stuff. But yes, I will see you then when we're gonna do that. Bye!